Hello, beautiful souls. It is Andrea with Enlightening Offerings. I want to come on here today with another one of those synchronistic messages that keeps coming to me, and um, maybe it can be helpful for you as well. Today we are in Scorpio season. Um, we've just experienced the new moon energy. What is today? Today is Tuesday. I don't think the moon is still in Scorpio. So kind of Sagittarius entering Sagittarius. So more of that expansive philosophical uh, thought, right? So this tracks. Um, it's basically the concept of honesty. Honesty keeps coming up to me. So honesty with self, honesty with others, exploring concepts um, specifically about yourself and being willing to share them with honesty. Right now, so we're in Scorpio season, as I mentioned, and so it's it's typical to really be feeling your feels right now. So feeling your feels, feeling emotions, um, memories, a lot of memories could be coming up right now, and, and trusting, ha having the trust and the faith in the universe and in yourself to take that deep dive and be okay with what you find there. Um, sometimes I think of Scorpio season as a cistern, okay? So the cistern under a building, um, in my head, it's in a, it's in a castle. <laughs> Bear with me. This is very Scorpio vision stuff right now. Maybe even Pisces, also water, but, but it's a cistern. So it's underneath, it's, it's sometimes even, um, under the foundation itself, underground and it's water, it's dark it's just a lot of times um cold so physically uncomfortable and and so diving into that psyche that cistern of your emotions of your unconscious of of exploring the depths and recognizing that there is nothing scary about the dark of the shadow side right exploring those depths and coming up with new truths, truths about yourself, truths about the world, and how you relate with the world. So, like uh, Don Miguel Ruiz says in the Four Agreements, one of the Four Agreements, do not make assumptions. Do not assume that because society says things should be a certain way, that that's how it should be, or that that's how you feel, or that that's how you relate to the world and your place in it. Making assumptions is a messy, tangled, just disaster waiting to happen. So how do you not make assumptions? You're very clear, you're very honest, and you're willing to explore. And you're willing then to relate that information, not only to yourself and your own personal layers of consciousness, but then to other people. So within all of this stuff bubbling up within Scorpio season, within all of that self-exploration and that deep diving and those ooey gooey emotions and feelings that we as humans sometimes have a really hard time articulating and putting into word, we then have this opportunity to take that, um, I'm going to call it the devil card in tarot, which is basically that that true, honest exploration of self and seeing where we are keeping ourselves prisoner, the hell of our own creation that that we can easily break out of if we just look at the true circumstances surrounding us and then taking the action to do so, which is kind of, you know, easing into that Sagittarius uh, manifestation, that fire, right, which is which again tracks right now with the, the moon sign as well as next week with the sun sign. So on top of being super honest with ourselves and recognizing that our deep, dark, ooey gooey recesses of our shadow self and um, the things that we shy away from bringing light to are not scary or bad or to be ashamed of, we also have this uh, reoccurring theme coming through, which is the, the opportunity 
to then be honest with those around us. So I've had a couple of people come to me and um, want to make huge life changes, huge, huge life changes. And in a few of these situations, it's not culturally appropriate in their family lineage to do these things. Um, and that's really scary, right? So not only, okay, let's look at energetically. We have, we have ancestral lineage, generational patterning that this very brave soul is, is fighting against and working to release patterns that no longer serve. But then also they have current life lineage, like alive in this realm, incarnated in bodies, people then that have the ability to speak back to them and say, you know, in support of or not. And that's a really scary thing, right? And then of course, that inner work of coming to terms with it themselves in the first place and what they choose for their life and how they want to live their life. I mean, those, that's, it's scary, right? All of these potential downfalls, all of these potential repercussions. What if I screw up and make the wrong choice for my life? What if I screw up and my whole family writes me off? What if I don't screw up, but my whole family writes me off anyway? What if I then let my entire lineage down and I have my ancestors on the other side of the veil, you know, not in support of me? Scary, scary stuff to blaze your own trail and to break those patternings and to look at the things that are accepted and expected within our family lineage. Social constructs can be the same. Like this isn't just the one example. Trust me, this is happening a lot, a lot of places. So, so how do we then come to terms with that? Well, I mean, as cliche as it sounds, it all starts with self-love and self-exploration and that path of know thyself. So taking tools like the intro to chart reading class that I just did on Sunday, taking tools to help us really be able to look at ourselves without rose tinted glasses, without the fear, diving deep during this Scorpio season, really exploring those, those crevices and caverns within our psyche, coming to terms with them, using the double card to look at that mirror of how we are keeping ourselves restricted and back and, and self-sabotaging and preventing our own growth. And then coming to terms with that self-sovereign power ourselves and that is a huge thing, right? Huge, huge, huge. Once you come to terms with that yourself, everything else kind of like domino effects pretty much comes into place most of the time. But then you have the patterned fear of expressing that truth to those around you, those that you, you know, are born into or um, love you and you want their love and support and you're still kind of hinged on getting and having that love and support from those people around you. Um, I, I, I offer this suggestion. Try them. Try it. Just try it. Just be honest. Hey, mom, I, I think this, I practice this way. I don't want to take over the family business. Anybody seen the movie Elemental? Perfect example, right? I don't want to take over the family business. I don't want to live in the family home. I don't want to take care of you in your old age. Like that's not my life path. And that's okay. So not only is it incredibly freeing and powerful to say those words, but then you gift them the opportunity to love you still, to recognize your courage, to recognize the work that you've done, to recognize who you are as an individual, rather than a byproduct of their existence, if it's your blood lineage, right? Rather than recognizing you as a byproduct of their training, if you're talking to a supervisor, you know, rather than seeing you as an extension of themselves, if they are your friend right? And you are in a friend circle with them and in a tribe circle with them. And they, you know, maybe haven't done the work to recognize that you aren't the center of um, their universe, much like they are the center of their universe, that you have your own path to live. And that's to be honored, not shunned, not taken away from. So 
gift people that opportunity because a what's the worst that can happen play out that scenario what is the worst that can happen and b what's the best that can happen like wouldn't it be amazing to gift yourself and them the opportunity for them to love you period now, I'm not going to say that whatever it is that you're struggling with or anything like that, if there's if this is resonating with you, that they're going to love you anyway. Still, they probably will still love you, but they may not be totally supportive, right? But what if they are? What if they are? What if they still love and support you and you don't want to take over the family business? And you want to go make beautiful glass sculptures? <laughs> or what if you don't want to live in the family home the rest of your life and you want to travel the world? What if you don't want to follow that degree or that path? What if after 20 years and a career, you tell your spouse, I don't want to do this anymore. And I don't know what that looks like for us financially, but I, my soul is calling out for a change. What if? They totally support that in the uncertainty and accept that you don't have all the answers of what that looks like. And that's okay. You don't have to have all of the fig everything figured out. You just have to know this doesn't feel right. This feels more authentic. And that all starts with that deep dive into the, the cistern under the foundation of your psyche and exploring and diving in and being, knowing that you're safe and brave and courageous and loving and knowing yourself. And then let other people the honor and opportunity to know you and love you as well. Yeah, so lots of good juicy stuff in this Scorpio season. I hope that it is sunny and gorgeous where you are as well. And if not, I hope that you find comfort in dreary weather if that's what you're having. And I hope that you enter this holy season, holy day season with ease and grace and peace in your heart. Blessings to you all.